We've procrastinated enough with setting up my brother's solar setup. Today we're going to start installing the batch kit. So we've already got the wooden mounts up there ready to put the solar um, panels on. We've got the cabin to safely store the equipment so it won't get wet. Now we just need to unpack everything. <laughs> We're jumping ahead, we're going to start wiring the batteries first, which is battery bank set up and wiring. Take this one here, negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive. I'm really not strong enough for this. I find it a little bit frustrating how guys just seem naturally stronger. <laughs> or does this just mean I'm really weak? <laughs> Just casual strength. <laughs> Much easier. <laughs> My hand's been twisted by somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Next stage, we get the red and the black wire and the circuit breaker. So, yeah, that's the circuit breaker. Because these are, maybe it's like, these are the shorter ones that go into the box and these are the longer ones from the battery? It, it could be. The joys of doing this jumping into the middle. <laughs> we really are jumping all over the place. I feel like we don't want to progress too far until the solar panels are actually installed. So this is becoming a little more difficult than I expected. We kind of want fine weather so that we can pop in and out and get the tools we need. So we're gonna pause. <laughs> we didn't progress that far today. At this point Hayden got too busy with the start of his event season and my brother didn't really feel confident installing it all himself so decided to get an electrician in.
And my brother and I hadn't added the caps to the bolts. At this point it became about 240 volt power and the book recommends an electrician from here. She earthed everything and made it safer. Really great work. been a couple of months since Andrew's had all of his solar working and I thought I'd touch base, see see how he finds it all. I'm liking having my own system and uh, being in control of how much power I use throughout the day and what the battery levels are at. I'm still not really used to it, I wouldn't say. Um, especially because, you know, I habitually I stay up quite late. Um, so I've had to stop doing that <laughs> during this time of year. Yeah, and just general worry about the batteries. The, the weather turned bad pretty quickly. I thought I'd have more time. Um, so I'm looking into generators now, talking with the nice electrician. Yeah, I rang grid free and to ask about what generators to use, um, how much power they would need to run it uh, safely. I was getting constantly conflicting information from Google about generator care and usage and very frustrating. Well, it was nice getting my own setup because it's um, I'm not like a drain on Karen and Hayden's setup now. Just and um, it's interesting finding out uh, just how little power I actually use with my little fridge and laptop. But at the same time, you have gone scarily low. <laughs> what? Well, that's just because of the relentlessly terrible weather. <laughs> like solar runs off solar energy, not cloud energy. Um, <laughs> it's just, you know, it's not like false advertising. They say you need sun. <laughs> we haven't had any sun for like a week. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am. I'm glad I've got my own system. It's going to be real handy when I eventually move. Just shove it all in a trailer and take off with it. <laughs>